Divine Truth. The name of this presentation is True Spirituality and is part of the Human Soul series. It was presented in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia on the 10th of June 2012. This is part one. Getting a view of that. Okay, and um, well, what we decided we'll do today is we'd like to involve you a little more today in the discussion, but uh, we'd also like to present a lot of the information we still wanted to present. So, so we're going to have a, Mary's sort of going to guide the discussion to a degree. I'm going to be the scribe who scribes your comments up on the board, and uh, and we'll talk about the subject. And so, the subject, as a reminder today is about how do we know what is true spirituality. And uh, so what we would like to do, remember yesterday we discussed pseudo-spirituality and the qualities of pseudo-spirituality. So today what we want to do is discuss the qualities of true spirituality. How can we see what real spirituality is in comparison to pseudo-spirituality. So we'd like to get started pretty much like we did yesterday. Myself and Mary will start. And well, I'd love to hear from you guys what you came up with because you might already cover our list. <laughs> so uh, remember yesterday we went through a, a list of different things that pseudo-spirituality... Um, the, the hallmarks the of hallmarks or the, the signs or attributes of pseudo-spirituality. So what we'd like to do is contrast that with true spirituality today. So, so does anyone have any ideas? What, what is a hallmark of true spirituality, Alex? Um, I just felt basically, um, very simply, it's living in the soul as opposed to um, a lot of the things that we mentioned yesterday were um, uh, living in the mind, living in the body, um, the, the spirit body. Avoiding the true self was a big theme yeah. we talked about a lot. Yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah, yeah. To, yeah, to kind of cram it into one little box is like living in the soul. Yeah. Yes. That involves a lot of things, I guess. But. So let, let's look at what it specifically involves, though. Can you remember? Okay, the next one we talked about was that um, pseudo spirituality is often fake and promotes and loves the facade. So, what would true spirituality do? Matt? Uh, just if we mic. Sure, sorry. Um, it would promote genuine change in the soul. So, yeah, so there have to be some genuine, sincere change, not, not flaky. Yeah. Genuine spirituality allow you to be true to yourself. If you could uh, use the mic, because otherwise we don't hear it. Allow you to be true to yourself. Yes, but the problem sometimes with being true to yourself is that you can be true to yourself and still be in a lot of error. So, so it would have to have a combination of things there, wouldn't it? Have to be, you'd have to be able to be true to your, to your feelings, even if you know your feelings are in error. Yes. Yeah. Have you got the mic with you? <laughs> when you say yes, then you can say it in the mic. <laughs> All right. I don't know if it fits here, but inclusive in that you feel that if you do have error, it's almost like you're allowed to have You're error. allowed to make mistakes, yes. Yep. yep. Allows mistakes. So, and also the absence of judgment is really what you're saying as well, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yep. And yep. I don't know if that comes under love or... Yeah, well, it, it, it'll come under some other headings. But if we look at this uh, allowing of mistakes, um, if we're really focused on finding out the truth, at some point we're going to make a mistake, aren't we? We're going to have to experiment... To, with a lot of different things that might be in error to, before we actually find the truth. So, so the, the beauty of true spirituality is that it doesn't force people to believe things without there being evidence, and it also allows people to make mistakes before they find out the truth. So, so they're not, they're not uh, having to be forced into accepting something without there being evidence to support that particular thing. And, and I sort of mean by um, being accepting who you are now, as in yes. not being in the facade. So I don't know how to describe that. Um, yeah, so it, 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 I feel that's a part of, part being, of being genuine, genuine really. Yeah. Like, okay. you know, if, if you truly accept who you are right now, then you will always, you will always 
go through this process of letting yourself be yourself, even if others around you seem like they want to judge you and things like that. And even if yourself, you know, has error, you would still be honest about the error. Yeah. So could we say it's more sort of like a self-honesty? Yeah. We could have.